Hi everyone, it's the Arma Gamer, and today I will be showing you how to make this little soccer game in Blunder. So basically, what we're going to do is um, make a red player and a blue player. The red player is going to be controlled with the arrows. Uh, the red player, did I say red or blue? Anyway, the red player with the arrows, and the blue one with A S D W. Okay. So when I push the ball in the goal, I don't really know how to make it kick, but um, when I put it in the goal. The game will just automatically restart. So this is what we're going to be doing. Today. Okay, so what we're going to do is start a new scene. So um, open up Blender. So um, what we'll do first is begin doing our player, the red one or the blue one, as you want. So I will make mine. Okay, so now make yours as you want. It could be just a cube that is extrude, and you can add color and all that stuff, some feet. Um, with the control R object and all that stuff so we'll do mine take your time to make it and when it's done um, we'll proceed to the next part. okay so when you have your two players I have a blue one and a red one uh, what we're going to do is make the field okay so what we're going to do is shift a add mesh cube so add a cube then flat it out I heard that it was a better like to use a cube flat out to make um, a kind of plane because it was like you know a help it was like when you were using a normal plane it was like um something uh, not really working well with the game logic so use a flat out a cube okay now you can uh, do the dimension of, uh, of your field so I want it like that then you add you can add a little bit of color I will add a dark green or something like that okay so now what we're going to make is the goal so shift a add mesh cube so use a cube and then extrude it to make it um, as big as you want it I want, I want it like this so I will just now extrude it on this side like that okay so when you have the goal well maybe a bit small okay so go in edit mode click the front face and press E to extrude and extrude it in to make like this kind of shape okay so the ball is going to enter in the goal Okay, so now you can add a little bit of color, so I'm going to put it red because it's going to be the goal for my red player. Now I'm just going to duplicate, so shift D, and then, um, whoa, on this side, to here. So I will um, just change it of side like this, and add another color, it will be um, blue for the blue player that I have here. So here, blue and red, okay? So now, when you have that, what we'll do is um, place the player so you can put them there where you want them, okay? So when they're placed, what we're going to add is some borders, okay? So the ball will not be able to get out. So shift A, add mesh cube. So use the cube to make your borders. So we'll do this like, like that. So now we have some borders here. And um, I will duplicate them, both them here now I'll we'll add another one to um, now to make the side here okay so when you have your borders placed um, what you will do is very simple okay so that will make move our our uh, players okay so I really recommend you to watch the other tutorial that I did before that is called how to make a moving object with Blender game, okay? So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use the same technique. So watch this one and come back to this video after because I will not show you how to make it all over, okay? I mean uh, how to make, how to move it, okay? So watch this one and come back after. Okay, so everything is done here. Uh, my two players are moving. Um, everything's fine here. So now what we'll what we'll do is go back in um in the so click on the side of game logic and on screen layout and click default to get back on our default view. So what we'll add is a ball. So shift a add mesh UV sphere. I'll add a, a sphere. It will be good for the for a ball. So now I have something like this. I will just smooth it and add um, a color. I will put it white. Yeah, like this is good. Okay. So here I have my ball. So now what we'll do is go um, on this well bouncing ball that looks like. Click on that. It says static. Click on that and go on rigid body. Okay. 
So that means the ball will be, for example, if I push the ball with my foot, I mean it would be pushed. But if it was in static, my my player will just go through it. And my rigid ball will just bounce on the walls, okay? Okay? Um, if the ball enters in the goal, it will restart. I mean, it will do a collision on the goal, okay? So now what we're going to add is the collision of the goal to make it restart the game. So go back in the game logic, so there. Select the goal, so I want um, the red goal. So add sensor, collision, okay? Then add controller or, and then add actuator is going to be game, okay? Oh, whoops, I had a message. Game, okay? Now, um, drag those lines to the, all the dots, and then it says where it says game. Click on that and click restart game. So it will restart the game when the ball is colliding this goal. And do the same thing with the blue one. So add sensor collision well R and then game restart game and then drag those things okay so like that so now if you want to test it out press P okay so this is will make you to test the game but now um, what we'll do is click on the camera because don't forget that when you press P it will just um, you will see the game but on the view you are. I mean, like this, I would see the game going on on this view. But when you're playing the uh, when you're playing the real game, it the camera. So I so play the camera as you want it. So I'll play the camera. You can go in view camera to see how good it is. Now it's not good. So if I want it like this, um, something um, that. Sorry about it, I'm just trying to... Great. So I've added a sun, because the sun is like a really, really bright light in the game. It's really bright, so you can use this. So I think you're done. Good job. Hope you made it. So I will just show you the final result of it. Okay? So if you want to see it, the really real game, if we want, click on this camera and click Standalone Player. So now if you want to save it, go to File, Save As, or Save. I think it's Save or Save As, I don't really remember, I think it's Save As. So save it, or if you want to try it now, just click Standalone Player, okay? I will show you how Oh yeah, I was about to forget. Don't forget to uh, do the same thing to make move your object, but... Um, with the other player, and uh, I mean, just not the uh, your player, the other one, so you can play with a friend. Don't forget, or or you can you just can change the keys of the blue one. Do the same thing, but change the keys. Okay. So here we are with the final result of our game. So if I move, I'm just trying to enter it in the goal. Boom! The game restarts. If I do it with the other player. It hits the goal. Boom! Restart. So you made it. Good job. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question or any tutorial to request, just give me a comment. Don't forget to like this video. Dislike if it's really necessary.